Hello my lovely people, welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the palace of Uni of Ife. Uh, from what we are hearing allegedly right now, uh, it looks as if very soon Uni of Ife and Kwenomi will be going on a vacation. No be smart you know, my people, because we do know that it has been long that the king has been proposing a vacation to Queen Naomi and Prince Tadenika and Queen Naomi keep declining. Some time ago, it, it almost caused a problem between him and uh, Queen Naomi when he insisted that uh, Queen Naomi should release Prince Tadenika you know, to go on a vacation if she doesn't want to follow him. It wasn't an easy thing, but thank God that God intervened that everything was settled amicably, you know. So, from what we are hearing, you know, before this birthday that happened a few days ago, we were expecting that that vacation would take place. But they said Quenomi declined. Hey, they said, what did Quenomi do the king now? Eh? Ah, God. Anyway, that is good. Though. That is good. It is good to do Shakara now. Especially when you see somebody who will be looking at your face telling you, please now, please now. But make Quenomi no go do too much. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now, no say... Uh, the king na pe uh, person picking too. Mm -hmm. Make she no go. They do too much shakara. So if like saying that thing she don't think about as she can't uh, agree now. From what we are hearing, they said Kwenomi have finally agreed with the king that they are going on a vacation. But the problem here is that uh, we don't know when it will happen. Some people said it was during Christmas, you know. Some said no. They said they have not. The fact remains that Quinomi have accepted that she will go on that vacation. But some said she is waiting for the king to do the needful before that will happen. You know, it looks as if before she had been saying, no, no, I'm not going, I'm not going. But from what we are hearing right now, uh, it's like she have agreed that she is going. But... Uh, the need for needs to be done because like I told you Queen Naomi is a role model to many people and she know very well that she is a role model to many people and for her to jump into uh, the king just like that and she will start be seen around and everywhere with the king that is what the king wants but that does not uh, tell so much good about Queen Naomi whom a lot of people are looking up to. She is, a lot of people are learning a lot of things through her life. And it's, it will be very uh, good for her to wait until the king do all that she has said. If not all, but at least to some extent. Because she has told us that she is not returning back to the palace with those Oloris in there. She did not say she's not going back to her marriage. Or, no, I've not heard that. She did not say she's no longer going to marry the king. I have not heard that. But she said that, that she refused to accept what will by have sooner in her life, which is polygamy. You know, and I believe with the situation of things, uh, the main reason, the main thing that we've been hearing that she's saying right now is that uh, she cannot return back to that palace with those wives there. So, and the king has been making effort to see that all this olor is leave the palace for her to return back. And the king have also promised, allegedly, oh, mm -hmm, because I did not hear directly from the king, always bear that in mind. She, he have also said that before the end of this year, that all the end time Oloris will either leave the palace or return back the bright price that he paid on their head, you know, since they want to frustrate his life. Since they want to turn to husband and she will be the wife. She said no to that. Uh -huh. They have been making effort too to leave the palace. Some of them, oh, mm -hmm. some are still going to the elders, telling them to come and talk to the king, so that the king will pardon them and allow them to stay in the palace. Someone like uh, uh, Runke, Runke, they say she, that one is not even making any effort. Some said she's making effort. I don't know which one to believe, but from what we are hearing, they said. Her major concern is how to convince people to take to how to convince the king to allow her to stay in the palace as the oldest wife. That she is promising that she's going to uh, be a good wife and all of that. But we do know that she is not. She has been pretending. She has been pretending. Recall that uh, if not for that uh, pregnancy saga where we say 
she came up with a, a, a pregnancy with a fake pregnancy because from what we heard they said she said she is pregnant not th not just that she's a pregnant that she's pregnant she is also pregnant with a boy and that was when she kept demanding that the king should go on a vacation with her to spend time that the child needs the king around that the child always need to hear the king's voice that the child want to uh, be looking at the king face the child is still in the womb but that is if there's any child an imaginary child <laughs> that is what i call that one so and she was making noise all over the palace during that period she was disturbing everyone and they kind of uh, avoiding her because they don't want to uh, have a problem with her and if anything happens considering her age People will say hey, it is because of this person that made her lose the pregnancy and all of that. But thank God, when God wants to expose her, God exposed her. And only then the king noticed exactly the type of a person she is. And we do know that the reason she did that was to distract the king from going after Queen Naomi. You know? So my prayer is that this uh, an alleged vacation that we have been hearing recently. Hmm. Let me tell you, God is about to do something great in this marriage again. Although we do know that the Oloris are fighting it. They are fighting it with everything they've got. But I don't. they are never going to win in a battle between them and God. Because this battle is not between them and Naomi. No, Naomi cannot even fight them. The only thing she has to do is to bend down, go to God in prayers. And I can see, everyone can see too, that God is really... Uh, fighting that battle for her only recently we heard that the king have begged her to please allow him to marry her in church while all these other oloris are begging for that the king declined and now the king is begging to do that for queen naomi as if that is not enough they said she gave her a diamond ring on that day that uh, prince tadenika was celebrated her birthday and that diamond ring came when they said the king uh, proposed a dubai trip to Queen Naomi and Queen Naomi declined and he did not stop the king from getting that diamond he had to pay for uh, the person to come down to Nigeria to come and mold that diamond in Queen Naomi's name something they said when the old ladies heard about it especially Mariam that they went gaga they were like what exactly did Queen Naomi give to the king what kind of juju is she using Ibi like say her kayamata pass our own because they never expected it. They were thinking that with all their kayamata and everything, they are going to control the situation and make the king do it their way. That was there, no, because there was a time it looks as if uh, the king was doing it their way. But recently, a lot have changed and it has uh, bring a lot of problems to themselves, to the Oloris who doesn't want the goodness of Queen Naomi and Prince Tadenikao and the uh, Union of Ife. So my people, oh, they said very soon that there will be vacation between these three. I'll be among these three. Uh -huh. And I can't wait to, uh, to see and hear about it to my people. What do you think? Don't you want to see that happen? Please, whatever you think, please share with us on the comment section. Don't forget, I still love you guys. Bye for now. Love you guys.